Hello everybody, this is Susie the Music Lady and in this video I'm going to share with you how to play song number 10 in the red book which is Bells Are Ringing. Yay! We're going to learn about Beethoven a little bit. We're going to get in touch with Beethoven just a little bit with this one, okay? Now, what we're going to start with is the left hand. Now remember in the Kangarooster we had one and five at the very end, right? Well, that's what, how we start with bells are ringing. If you look closely, you'll see that for each of these chords, your thumb remains, and it's just the other fingers that are either added to it or taken away. So we go five, four, three, and two along with our thumb. So let's try that in rhythm. One, two, three. Ready, go. Five, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Good. And then if we look at the next line, it's very similar. We, it just ends a little differently. Let's try playing it. One, two, ready, play. Two. To some fast motion here we have every something happening every two beats so we go two three four five two three sharp two on c sharp and it resolves to d remember sharps like to resolve up c sharp d or two and then one so let's play this third line right in here this is our b section one two ready play time one two ready go one and two one and three one and four one and five one and two one and three sharp two and one and let's go to the bottom where it looks exactly like the second line one two ready play one five So the left hand really isn't too bad. It just looks intimidating it is all because it has chords in it, but it's really no big deal. All right, let's look at the right hand. Now, hopefully you are familiar with this tune. Um, it's Ode to Joy, okay? Da, 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 okay, let's play it. Two, ready, go. back and do that B section. It throws people off a lot, okay? Let's go back to that B section, which is right here on this third line. So we have two, two, three, one, okay? These next two measures are exactly the same. Two, four, three, one, two, four, three, one. Or sorry, two, four, three, one, two, four, three, two. Okay, so it's not exactly the same, I lied. Let's play it. One, two, ready, go. Two, four, three, one, two, four, three, two. Okay, let's start from here and play all the way through. Two, two, three, one, ready, go. Two, two, three, one, two, four, three, one, two, four, three, two, one, two, rest. Three, three, And 
and Beethoven is such a good songwriter that um, whenever he leaves you hanging, you really feel like you got to complete it and finish it. So that's why I went on and played the rest of it. <laughs> okay, so let's try hands together. But before we do that, we're going to try hands together on the B section. Okay, that's the trickiest part about this because we have... something happening every two beats in the left hand, okay? So let's try it nice and slow. It's going to be your twos together, basically. We're going at this tempo. One, two, ready, go. first two measures in the B section. One, two, ready, play. Good. Try that much one more time. Ready, go. Should be pretty solid. Good. Okay, now this is the tricky part right in here. We're going to start right there. Ready, go. C sharp. And then D in the left hand. Okay, let's try that one more time. You hear how the melody goes down into the left hand right in there. So let's start right there one more time on those twos and one. Ready, go. Let's go ahead and finish the song because this and this is exactly the same and this is almost the same. It just doesn't have that one and three on beat three. All right, so we're going to start from here and play the end. So it's one and five and your three in your right hand. Ready, go. Hopefully you enjoy playing. Um, bells are ringing, which is actually ode to joy. Um, yeah, I hope that you learned a lot in this video, and I hope that you enjoy playing this song, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.